2020 has been a year. I don't think anyone would qualify it as a, a good one. You know, we've had some fantastic times and some very much not fantastic times. But on the bright side, at least it's December now, so we can put this absolute mess of a year behind us. And y'all know me, I love to clean and organize, so I'm going to symbolically cleanse away this past year by cleaning and decluttering my dorm room. So let's jump right into it. To start off with, here's a basic overview of my decluttering method. I'm going to go through every single nook and cranny of my room and separate my items into a couple of different categories. The items that I want to keep are going into two different places. If I want to keep them in my dorm room for the winter break, I'll just leave them there. But if I want to take them home with me for the holidays, I'll put them in this loose pile next to my duffel bags. Next, the items I plan to declutter will go into two different categories. One, for things I can resell secondhand. If you're interested in buying some of my secondhand clothing or other items, I will link that in the description. The other category is donation slash giveaway for things that I don't really feel comfortable selling since they might be PR gifts that I got for free or just not in great condition. Lastly, everything that I'm on the fence about will go in this third purgatory box just for me to think it over a bit, take some time, see if I actually feel the need to use them. With those guidelines in mind, the first area I started decluttering was the school supplies near my desk. First, we've got my 2020 Hobonichi Techo Planner, and I'm gonna take this home with me, along with the Rhodia Web Notebook that I'm gonna use as my 2021 bullet journal, and my regular journal. Okay, this is a brand new 2021 edition Loikterm 1917 bullet journal that they sent me for free to give away on my Instagram, so look forward to seeing that soon. You heard it here first, folks. Next, I also brought a couple of my old school notebooks from high school because I thought they might be useful to me while in college, but I haven't really referenced them so far. I also just brought a couple of these empty notebooks that I didn't really end up using. Last but not least, we've got these two older journals that will just go on my archival bookshelf at home since I don't really use them while I'm here. Okay, I just like couldn't find a functional way for me to be in a shot with the items that I'm decluttering here in this little cramped desk corner. So hopefully editing Jasmine can just take care of it. So it won't be just a boring shot of me sitting here talking like I'm doing right now. Good luck. Anyways, the first thing that we shall take care of is this mason jar that I have with all of the stationery that I brought here with me. At this point, I wasn't really offering any sort of insightful commentary, so I'll spare you the pain of listing me name every pen I own and just show you the final results of what I decided to keep and what I decided to declutter. After I uh, emptied out this jar of <clears throat> essentials into a bag to take home, I decluttered my paper organizer and I found a free lunch coupon underneath that had expired. For some reason, I also have three pairs of scissors. Where did they come from? Where did they go? I mean, okay, I know where these two are going because, oh my goodness, I should stop waving around the scissors. I'm gonna take my own eye out. Um, this pair is my favorite pair of scissors. It's titanium non-stick and it just does a better job at cutting things than all the others. So I'm keeping these. Once again, I should stop waving these around. If any elementary schoolers are watching this, do not take scissor safety lessons from me. Um, and then these two will go in the giveaway box. Oh, and I'm gonna take my window rainbow catcher crystal home because this window doesn't get any direct sunlight, so these don't do anything, unfortunately. After that, I cleaned out this miscellaneous bin and found some extra school supplies lurking at the bottom. What a nice bonus. And lastly, I cleaned out my makeup collection. RIP this old expired eyeliner. So next, let's move on to clothing. Mm, I like most of everything in this first drawer. I probably wouldn't keep this pink shirt because I thrifted it and it ended up being too small for me. In the next drawer, there are a few more things that I felt like I could pass on, including this red polka dot dress, for example. I literally only got because the top part is super cute and it's nice for YouTube videos, but then the rest of it is too big and it doesn't really fit me, or at least um, 
I don't really fill it out properly, so I just like look like a Lego block. Perhaps that is more of an issue of me projecting my own insecurities about not being curvy onto this random tube of fabric, but regardless, I don't really wear it, so it would be better served in a new home. Um, I never really wear these leggings just because I like to run in shorts and then I just don't really wear leggings as like an everyday fashion item. You might be thinking it's a bit absurd that I have so many earrings considering I never change them. Um, and that is because I accidentally ripped out this hole and now I'm letting the hole heal for about a year before I get it re-pierced. So I just have one earring and I feel like wearing like a dangly or hoop earring would kind of make me look like a, a pirate ready to sail the high seas. Not exactly the look I'm going for, although it is a good one. So right now I'm just stockpiling earrings, but there are a few that I just no longer really like the look of anymore, so we're gonna get rid of them. I don't want to leave too much food, even non-perishable food here, over the winter break, you know, just in case it goes bad. So let us go through first the non-cold storage food here in this drawer, and then we'll move over to my fridge which is probably a disastrous mess because I have been avoiding cleaning that out for the entire quarter. I have this instant oatmeal that I very strongly dislike, but my grandma likes oatmeal, so I'm gonna take it home and give it to her. Huh, an empty bag of mango slices. I've also got this unopened package of watermelon jerky. Gonna take this home and eat it. My um, like 80 bags of green tea are gonna stay here along with my matcha green tea powder. I don't think these are really gonna go bad. Oh boy, okay, this fridge is gonna be an entirely different struggle because I like to eat fruit, but sometimes I like to buy fruit, forgetting that I am one person and I can't actually eat that much fruit in a week. And so there's probably a lot of half rotten fruit in here. Um, this almond milk is probably congealed on the inside by now, so into the trash it goes. I think I bought this like before Halloween. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I bought these carrots like in August and there's like ice on here because they froze themselves onto the fridge shelf. Yeah, these strawberries are also moldy and disgusting. And then I have these two apples that actually don't look to be in bad shape. Um, I'm just a little bit concerned because they were right next to the strawberries, so they could have some mold in there, but they smell okay. I'm sorry, wasn't I wasn't really just pretending I was Remy from Ratatouille. And that's everything in my fridge. final beast in this decluttering saga is all the random stuff I have piled up here on this top bunk that I don't use. It's kind of like my junk drawer, except uh, it's not a drawer, it's a junk bunk. So we've got an audio cable that is the wrong cable, so I need to make a return to Best Buy. Swiffer wet jet refills that I mistakenly bought because I have a Swiffer sweeper and I thought they were the same thing but they're not. We've got like 10 copies of this one issue of the Daily Bruin, which is the UCLA newspaper because I'm in this issue. Oh my goodness. See, I'm in this article called Student C Success Sharing Study Tips on YouTube. I have these power strips and extension cords that I never use to sheet bags with just the flat sheets in them because I got these sets to use for the fitted sheets and pillowcases, but I literally have no idea what the purpose of a flat sheet is. A rug? I would probably use it more often if I could figure out a way for it to not slide around so much on the hardwood floor, but I haven't taken the time to figure that out yet. With everything I wanted to declutter all locked and loaded and sealed up into boxes, 
All that was left for me to do was pack up everything I wanted to take home. Okay, all my laundry has gone through the wash, but there still aren't any dryers available. So I guess I'll just do every single other household task I can think of while checking the dryers every half an hour, just in case somebody has finally remembered that they put clothes in the dryer and they need to take them out so that other people can use the dryer. Laundry issues aside though, I do feel like cleaning has this inherent New Year's-y, fresh start type of feeling. So hopefully 2021 me will be grateful to come back to a clean room and a fresh start. Finally got my clothes in a dryer. I camped out in the laundry room for about half an hour until finally someone came to take their clothes out. I went and picked up dinner while I was at it. So my game plan with my laundry, um, oh, this is slightly damp. Um, so my game plan with my laundry that isn't damp is to hang up my towels, put the sheets back on my bed, and put all of my clothes back into my dresser. Once everything's in my drawer as if I was just staying here for the rest of the week, I will just take things out, figure out what I need to take with me to go home. The next morning after all the clothes I left out to air dry had completely dried, I finished up packing everything and got ready to leave at noon, including putting my socks in my water bottle to save space. And that is goodbye to UCLA for 2020. Thanks for a great quarter, and I'll see you next year.